What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's me, your boy, Dragon Masters 525 aka Keon, coming at you with another video. And today, guys, we're doing something special. So normally, I don't have a lot of food videos on my channel, but I saw, if you saw the thumbnail, you know what, probably what this video is about. But I saw um, one of Mr. Beast Feastables um, at Walmart. So I ended up picking one up, and I thought it was pretty cool. I know the camera's inverted, but... You can see that it's definitely a feastable. So, I saw this at Walmart. I was overwhelmed because there were so many flavors. And I decided to just go with the almond flavor. But, I decided to do a taste test review um, on the feastables to see if it's, like, ass or not. And, yeah. So, without further ado, um, I'm just kind of going to get into it. Also, before, before I'll side note, before I get into it, I will be tasting, ta doing a taste test review and then uh, rating it to see if it's, like, pretty good, good or not. So, um, take my opinion with, like, a grain of salt, I guess. But without further ado, let's definitely crack this open and try it. So. Okay. This has been in the fridge for, I think, like a day, because I didn't eat it right away. But, that's what it looks like. Like I said, like, the color, it's been in the fridge for, for literally, like, a day, so this is what I'm assuming the color is. But it's interesting, it says Mr. Beast on it. It says Mr. Beast. I don't know if, like, you could tell, but it has... Mr. Beast, and then it says Feastables, but I'm just gonna crack it. It has a nice crack to it, a nice crunch. I'm like dropping it already, damn. Okay. To me, it tastes like a sweeter Hershey's. With, with this really nice, like the crunch is nice, but there's like this pungent almond taste to it. Well, overall, it's not that bad. I think a little too sweet for me. Ooh. I like how it snaps. You can snap it, and it's pretty good. This definitely has to be, like, milk chocolate. Like, 100%. There's like this, I don't know, it's, it, there's definitely a flavor to this. It doesn't taste like, it doesn't taste like any of the, um, any of the, like, the retail brand of, like, chocolates that you'd see, you know, like, Kit Kat, Butterfinger, Hershey's, but it's, like, it's closely, I feel like it's, cl like, more similar to Hershey's than anything, in a Hershey's bar. But you know it's different because the texture is different. And it tastes sweeter than a Hershey's. Now we got to the logo. I don't know if you can see it. Mr. Beast. I, damn, I think for me one bar is too much, in my opinion, because I'm already like sweating, I'm sweating bullets right now, normally don't eat this much chocolate, but 
down the hatch, you know? I feel like Damn, I need like some water. Some of that wah wah dude. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm already having like some cons about it. <clears throat> and I already finished it. Here's the wrapper. I'm gonna throw that away. But here, I'm going to go with the, some of the cons first before we go into the pros, and then we're going to go to final rating. And also, actually, no, let me bring this back. Fucking, okay, let's also rate the the um, the aesthetic of, the aesthetic design of the fucking wrapper, too. I always do that with all my other drinks, so might as well do it with this, too. But let's talk about taste first before we go into this, anyways. So, it tastes like a Hershey's, and it tastes a lot sweeter. And the texture is definitely a lot different. It feels like I'm biting into one of those, like, you know those ch kitchen chocolates? How they're, like, thick and, like, almost, like, chunks of chocolate? Like, when you bite into it, that's what it feels like. And, oh, excuse me. And I think the, the almonds, like, I could definitely taste that the almonds were, like, there's, like, this almond flavor. And I know, and I know that's gonna sound stupid, but, like... I feel like I don't get the same, like, almond flavor that I get, like, from a Hershey's bar. Like, the chocolate in a Hershey's bar masks the almond, like, in a way where, like, I feel it, but I don't taste it. But with the Feastables, I feel like I taste it, which is interesting while I'm feeling it, you know, in every crunch and every bite. Um, overall, like, uh, it, it really stays in your mouth. It has, like, like, it... It feels like milk chocolate, but, like, I also want to f say, like, it's similar to dark, but I'm not too sure. It just, it's interesting. It's an interesting flavor, I think, in my opinion. I didn't like the fact that, like, it took forever to chew. I'm here, like, chomping away. Like, it takes me forever to get through, like, every, every time I would snap it and go through one bar, I guess. Like... I would always take so long just to chew, and I didn't like that. Um, only because, like, I want to eat my chocolate kind of fast, you know? I'm trying to get a little bit of a boost from the sugar, so, like, I don't care about, like, how much I'm consuming. It's more about, like, whether I'm able to consume it fast or not, and I feel like with that, it was, like, really chewy chocolate. Like, it's... And by chewy, I meant, like, t it's always, it's kind of, like, taking forever because you're getting a mouthful. But I guess if you like a mouthful of chocolate and almonds, like, it might be for you then. Um, but overall, I think it was, like, pretty interesting. It was definitely super interesting. So, I'm going to review the bag for a second, or bag, the case that it came in. I thought it was pretty interesting. It definitely stands out in a sea of like colors this blue actually stood out pretty pretty heavy to me which i was pretty surprised i like the fact that it's like i don't know it has mr beast's logo on there it says feastables i always hear about it but like i've never tried it before so it's cool to be able to finally like try something um i like the fact that there's a qr code everything looks bubbly you can tell that they're definitely catering this to like a kid uh for me like, if I didn't hear it from YouTube videos or commentary videos or people talking about, like, Mr. Beast, I would probably haven't really picked this up, if I'm being quite honest. Because there's, like, a sea of other things that I would want, like a Kit Kat or Butterfinger or some gummy bears, you know, or something sour or a bag of chips. You know what I'm saying? But if you're trying to have, like, a little movie night, a little popcorn movie night, this, I think, you know, would be kind of fire. Just hand them out, boom. Serve it with some popcorn. Don't don't drink no prime, but you know if you want to serve some prime. But me, I'm more of an agua and a tea guy. But yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna rate the the design of the wrapper a good solid. I want to say a good solid, a good solid seven out of ten. 
I feel like it's really minimalistic liminal. Yeah. 7 out of 10 for the design. Now, for the taste. I'm gonna give about the same rating, a 7 out of 10. I thought it was pretty good, but it wasn't bad either. It was just, like, in the middle, so... I thought it was okay. It was so-so. It was so-so. I'd probably I'd probably eat another one. I'd, I'd probably try out, like, another flavor, but I think that would be the extent of me. Because I wish they would have, like, I don't know, more more flavors. I know they have, like, a lot, but it's flavors that, like, normally I wouldn't go for. I like kind of like fruit, so I like, like, chocolate and orange, you know, chocolate, strawberry, you know. Stuff that's, like... I don't know, a little bit more tropical, I guess, but that's just me. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here, guys. If you made it through, definitely give it a, a like. If not, give a dislike, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if I should try out another Feastables, um, because I will run, you know, to the fucking Walmart and get another one. But um, I normally don't do food reviews, so this is an exception. Also, if you guys want to see more videos like this, Definitely hit the bell icons for more videos. And also let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, uh, this is me, your boy, Dragon Masters 525, aka Keon, signing out, dude. Woo!